is a man who sees in the dark. So watch out for surprise attacks. Vin Diesel is all set to reprise his role in Riddick 4, Furia. It looks like this might be the grand finale for our favorite sci-fi anti-hero. The big question is, will he finally get that happily ever after? And will we see a connection between Predators and Riddick? Taking a trip down memory lane, Diesel initially caught our attention in the sleeper hit Pitch Black back in 2000. Forget the Fast and Furious or Xander Cage movies for a moment, this is where it all began. Diesel, with his unmistakable gravelly voice, nailed the role of Richard B. Riddick, a tough convict stranded on a planet swarming with creatures that love the darkness. Despite returning for two sequels, the Riddick series never quite reached the same blockbuster status as Diesel's other film franchises. The Chronicles of Riddick series might have faced a bit of an identity crisis. The first one was a creature feature with a reasonable budget, but things got a bit confusing with the 2004 sequel. It turned into a high-budget soft reboot, attempting to make Riddick more palatable to a wider audience. When that plan didn't quite hit the mark, 2013's Riddick tried yet another soft reboot, going back to the character's genre roots and steering clear of the convoluted lore introduced in the second film. Riddick 4 has been in the works for quite some time now, and Vin Diesel's busy schedule with the Fast and Furious saga probably slowed things down a bit. However, Diesel has been dropping hints about Riddick 4 on social media, and it looks like we might finally be approaching the end of Riddick's journey. Hold on to your seats, because Riddick 4 is breaking the traditional movie order. The Chronicles of Riddick brought in a bunch of series lore through its foes, the Necromongers. These were some intense religious fanatics aiming to either convert the entire universe to their beliefs or wipe out anyone not on board. They were also big on this concept called the Underverse, thinking it was their ticket to a reborn paradise. Back in 2013, director David Toohey spilled the beans to Screen Rant, mentioning that he envisioned two more Riddick movies. According to him, the fourth installment would take Riddick on a wild journey through the Underverse to get to his home turf, Furia. Interestingly, Tui even hinted at the possibility of it being a two-parter instead of a single movie. Looks like Riddick 4 is taking a shortcut with the subtitle Furia, suggesting that Tui and Diesel are skipping the usual sequel routine and just bringing Riddick straight back home. Money matters, you know. The Riddick movies typically stick to a lower budget, keeping things R-rated and gritty. A grand odyssey through the Underverse might have been a tad too ambitious for the wallet. Fun fact, in the extended Blu-ray cut of Riddick, there's a scene where our guy is gearing up to journey through the Underverse, chasing after Carl Urban's necromonger Vako. It seems like this was setting the stage for Tui's original plan for Riddick 4. However, the Underverse might end up as more of a prologue than the main event. The Riddick series has been a journey, tracing Vin Diesel's character's evolution from an anti-hero to well, a bit less of an anti-hero. Chronicles of Riddick added some layers to him as he faced loss and uncovered more about his home turf. Credit where it's due, there's been a noticeable growth in the character throughout the series, and it feels like Riddick's story is heading towards a conclusion. And hey, he even made an appearance in an anime. In that interview we mentioned earlier, David Tui, the creator, spilled the beans on wanting to give the series a proper send-off. He mentioned, it's good that we are looking at ending the series, and teased, I think there's a real end to this, and I know what that last movie looks like. It's a bit of a breath of fresh air when you compare Riddick's planned final chapter to the never-ending Fast and Furious saga, always throwing new threats at Dom and the crew. Skipping the original two-movie plan for Riddick seems like a smart move. Revisiting all that necromonger lore might have been a bit much, especially considering the lukewarm reception of the Chronicles of Riddick. It seems like audiences weren't overly invested in that particular storyline. Riddick movies work best when they're kept lean and mean, embracing that B-movie vibe. Sure, the world building is cool, but it's never been the main draw. Furia seems poised to give Riddick the perfect ending. In Pitch Black, our man Riddick was introduced as the ultimate loner, avoiding human connections like the plague. While he softened a bit in later films, the third installment made it crystal clear that he was on a mission to uncover his roots. Turns out, his unique night vision and super strength come from his origins on planet Furia, a place supposedly wiped out by the necromongers 
when Riddick was just a baby. Now, considering how family dynamics play a significant role in Vin Diesel's other projects, it's a safe bet that Riddick 4 is gearing up for some serious family drama. Furia holds the key for Riddick to finally confront his past and shape his future. Riddick had his history snatched away, and Furia could be the place where he finds closure and makes peace with the demons that have haunted him. Since Pitch Black was the film that really put Vin Diesel on the map, there's a special attachment to the gruff convict character. It's safe to assume Diesel wants to wrap up Riddick's story on a powerful note. The concept art for Riddick 4 has already given us a sneak peek, teasing encounters with other Furians, introducing a child sporting eyes just like Riddick's. When the title anti-hero meets others who match his strength, you can bet there's going to be some conflict and drama in the mix. The burning question on everyone's mind? Will Riddick bite the dust in Furia? Vin Diesel doesn't often meet his demise on screen, aside from a couple of instances like Saving Private Ryan or his supporting role in Billy Lynn's long halftime walk. Riddick has already survived some pretty gnarly injuries that would take out your average Joe, but returning to Furia might throw challenges at him that even he's not ready for. In the film's lore, Furia was known for being one of the toughest planets in the universe, with only the superhuman Furians able to tough it out. Considering Riddick 4 is shaping up to be the series finale, there's a chance that our man Richard B. won't make it out alive. However, Diesel has a track record of steering clear of overly bleak outcomes. Just look at the Fast and Furious franchise, which has a habit of bringing characters back from the dead. Hello, Letty and Han, due to audience demand. So, while Riddick could potentially meet his end in some heroic sacrifice, it's a safe bet that Diesel will aim for a more hopeful and uplifting outcome. In the Riddick series, we see Richard B. Riddick's extraordinary abilities, such as superhuman strength, the ease with which he dispatches skilled warriors, the unique skill of scent identification, unlike the crematorian guard's mutated ability, impressive leaps, effortless obstacle climbing, and the ability to vanish at will. Rather than quickly eliminating enemies, Riddick prefers observing them, adopting a predator-like approach by taking out foes one by one and concealing their bodies. I have a theory that when Riddick survived the Lord Marshal's assassination attempt as an infant, a predator may have been watching the event. Perhaps the predator civilization prefers staying concealed from other sentient beings, monitoring different species, and deciding whether to reveal themselves. It's possible this particular predator took Riddick, raising him either as one of their own or perhaps as a slave, imparting futuristic hunting skills. Alternatively, the predator's motives might be darker. Riddick could have been an experiment, raised to be deadly by other predator standards. When he reached a certain age, the predator might have intended to hunt him for sport. If that's the case, Riddick might have emerged victorious and eventually reintegrated into the human race. Well, that's it for today. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you at the next one.